In our gospel reading, Jesus speaks of, of himself as someone who was sent by God. That whatever word he would speak, everything that he would do is because he was sent by the Father in heaven. And here we see the generosity of God because despite our unworthiness, God generously and selflessly gave his son to all of us so that all of us may ha might have life. Our first reading speaks also of a sort of ascending. In the first reading, the church of Antioch, after the meeting, the Holy Spirit told them, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So even if they have their own needs in Antioch, the Holy Spirit called Barnabas and Saul and asked them to go out and preach to other communities as well. Barnabas and Saul were two of their best men, two of their best assets. And perhaps for people of Antioch, they would have found it better that these two would have stayed with them because they could have done a lot of good things for the community of Antioch. And yet, upon the prodding of the Holy Spirit, they sent both of them to preach to other communities. And throughout the centuries, we see how the church has grown through its selfless generosity so that other communities may also live. I remember our founder, St. Dominic de Guzman, he sent out his friars, even if they were the best and even if they could contribute a lot to the community, he sent them out because he knew that that is where God wants them to go. He even sent out novices, young friars, because they know that even if they had a great future inside the convent, the Lord needs them to work in a particular community. And I believe that that is how the church always grows, and I believe that that is how the church should always be. It is a church that grows through selfless generosity. Many times God would ask us to give something very, very important to us or ask us to give something very precious to us, something that we think that is very much needed in our life. But God would call us and prod us to give them away. Because by giving them away, by sending them out, by sharing them to others, a community can flourish. And I believe that that is how our country grew. We are enjoying our freedom. Why? Because there were people who were so generous and selfless in giving themselves up so that our country may enjoy freedom. This church that we have right now did not become built overnight, but it was built because of the generosity, the selfless generosity of people who wanted to build a church for Our Lady. And so in our life, as a church, if we want to grow deeper in our, in our vocation as Christians, we should never get tired of following the example of God the Father who selflessly and generously gave His Son to us. And in our life as Christians, if we want to grow in our life, we should never get tired of selflessly and generously giving the most precious thing about ourselves.